This video is sponsored by Wix Filters, manufacturers of filters for automobiles, trucks, off-road equipment, and manufacturing applications. Go to wixfilters.com for more information. In today's competitive business landscape, the traditional mentality of every man for himself is no longer the prevailing mindset. Instead, an emerging and effective approach is the practice of coopetition. This term embodies the idea that companies within the same industry, which may normally compete fiercely for market share, can also find value in collaborating and forming strategic partnerships. Picture the business world as a high-speed NASCAR race, where companies represent the racing cars, each aiming to secure a spot at the top. Just like how NASCAR drivers use drafting, which involves cars lining up closely one behind the other to take advantage of reduced air resistance and increased speed, businesses within the same industry can align their strategies and goals. This alignment effectively forms a drafting line, allowing them to navigate the complexities of the market more efficiently. Motive and Platform Science have recently joined forces with a shared goal to elevate road safety to new heights. In a parallel effort, UPS and Women in Trucking have united to champion increased female representation within the commercial space. Meanwhile, Nicola and Volterra have combined their expertise to fortify the infrastructure supporting alternative fuels to improve accessibility to sustainable transport. The state of Michigan has forged a strategic alliance with Daimler Truck North America. Together, they're working to increase the number of charging stations for electric vehicles. This small snapshot of collaborations underscores just a fraction of a bigger trend, where industry players are aligning with diverse objectives and forging partnerships that tap into various CV segments. These collaborations, forged just over this summer, present a trajectory of ongoing partnerships in the industry. Playing to one another's strengths is a key concept to provide fleets and customers with unified solutions to improve operations. One great example of this is Trimble, a technology service provider in the industry, partnered with Cummins to provide a more enhanced fault code analysis through a joint effort of Cummins Connected Diagnosis. This allows its shared customer base to get the most out of both company offerings when it comes to vehicle condition diagnosis. While connecting with Kate Ashton, Senior Channel Marketing Manager, and Dwayne Lazar, Director of Strategic Accounts with Trimble, I was able to get an in-depth understanding into what solution providers, product manufacturers, and OEMs are looking for in partnerships, and why they continue to gain traction in the industry. So if you would have gone back years and years and years ago, you know, kind of the mindset was, uh, I have this information, this is our information, it's proprietary, it's our IP, uh, we got to keep it to ourselves and keep it locked up and this is our secret sauce and that's how we become successful right and you fast forward to the way things have transitioned uh, it's quite the opposite now right like every different piece has its secret sauce but it's more about sharing that information it's more about integrations um, no one is going to be successful doing this on their own so it's this feeling of we all have to support each other for the greater good of the industry the customers and what they need and then working directly with them to better understand exactly because I always say I'm like every partnership is unique right every relationship is unique every offering is unique and that's sort of also the beauty of it all that we're able to sort of have these really good conversations and end goals and match those then with the deliverables the integrations the relationship itself and it's ongoing However, blind collaboration or partnerships for the sake of partnerships can create more work than what's really necessary and could potentially blur the lines of where one company offering stops and the other one starts. Dwayne underscores that the endeavor to forcefully join companies, all in the name of collaboration, could potentially yield more work, but not the desired results. You do that piece, we'll do this piece, and then we'll deliver the best of both worlds to our customer base. Right, so those are the partnerships that are the most successful. The ones that are less successful are ones where there's too much layering. Right? They're doing a piece of the same thing, we're doing a piece of the same thing, and at the end of the day, who's really responsible for owning that project? So how does Trimble define a successful integration? I think the simple fact that if we can understand that solution process from the boardroom, meaning we're delivering some type of ROI, 
and it's beneficial to the entire organization all the way down to the driver it is making their life better it's improving their day-to-day -day. it is giving them one less thing to do and giving them some time back uh, and then we can string that together that's a positive as businesses hustle to keep up with the ever-changing needs of the commercial vehicle scene, wrapping your head around how it'll impact your fleet is imperative for optimal operations, so you can make the most out of what's coming our way. Being in the loop about these shifts allows you to squeeze out all the perks that come with it. But I think Kate put it best. We're all in this together. We're all, you know, participating at equal levels and we're working together and it's a super collaborative process and the end result's a great experience for that customer um, and that continued sort of commitment to the partner. For even more trucking and equipment content, head over to the Fleet Equipment site at fleetequipmentmag.com. See you next time.